Hello everyone. We are making our way back home. Technically the test route hasn't started until we're at the bottom of the mountain, but I wanted to show this. Well, is it gonna... Okay, yeah, it's creeping. This is the first time, and it's only done it one other version has it ever done that. Uh, usually it's just blowing through the stop sign right there. And so that's been improved to version 10.2. And so we are back. This is our test route two, going back from my parents, and um, we are just trying to confirm if we can make this a zero disengagement drive. I've been pretty pleasantly surprised with 10.2. I'm pretty happy. Um, not perfect by any means, but um, it's uh, definitely much much better than 10.1. Uh, and really, it could have been uh, debatably not better in some areas and better in other areas than 10 point, uh, oh, like that stop sign right there, better than 10.0. Uh, that being said, hopefully 10.3 or whatever version after this is going to be the next level that makes it just better than any previous version. That's what I hope. This is what it messed up. Okay, we're good to go. flying out of that turn. And then we're getting a lot of phantom brakes still. And I'm not the only one reporting that. So this just, I think that was an e-tron. E the first time I think I've seen one driving. Uh, yeah, this uh, this version is reported. Everyone seems to have a lot of phantom brakes with this, this version. So it's not just me. I thought about recalibrating the cameras, but I'm pretty confident um, that it is not the camera's uh, calibration causing the issue because it phantom brakes when there's a car in front of me. Uh, the calibration would be an issue as you're passing by something and that um, uh, when it goes between the two different cameras, I'm pretty sure. Uh, now, it could be wrong, but um, I'm probably not going to calibrate the camera just mostly because it kind of scares me that it says up to 100 miles even though it's usually about 15 miles or so that you have to drive manually before it is good it's just ha but it can potentially be up to 100 miles I don't that would take me days I don't I don't daily drive so it would take me a long time I don't think I even did 100 miles all today all right I'm trying to keep my dog from licking his sore it braked right there Gotta make sure this version especially. Gotta make sure there's no cars behind you. It seems like they're almost doing it to see like if your foot's over the pedal. I I would like to say it's purposeful, but I really don't think so. Let's see if it stops at this stop sign here. I didn't even see the stop sign. Well, that's probably a good thing. Maybe they fixed it. Unfortunately, the car in front of me was slowing down. It didn't seem to stop for the stop sign. So that's good. I'm going to have to, obviously, I'm going to have to do this route again uh, to confirm that without a car in front of me. This is, it's slowing because of the car in front of me, but this is, oh, I had to press the accelerator there. It definitely braked too hard there. No, this is a yield, not a stop sign. Okay, so... I'm having to get it over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and go get all the way over. This is how it should do. It should, get, it should go, go ahead and get into the far left lane right here. I don't. As we know, if you've watched my videos, this is not the correct lane to get in, especially with high traffic. I'm gonna manually get it to go back over again when this car goes by me. It needs to get in the left lane and stay there and it just frustrates me that it won't listen to me um, and this is the first time today where it wouldn't let me cancel that lane change I did I pressed the stock and it just still decided to get over in the right lane and see as you can see we have a left turn so the reason it got in the right lane I have no idea and of course now we're at a yellow light Okay, the only reason I think I accelerated faster here is because the car in front of me decides to... I, don't, I, I honestly don't get why humans do that. I've been 
rent, uh, especially taxi drivers, that's so bad. But just why accelerate full speed up to another red light? Just kind of coast to the red light. Like, I don't, like, it's so much more wear and tear in your car. It's a waste of fuel. It is not comfortable for passengers, so I just don't, I don't get why people do that. They just have to speed up and get to a red light. Why not just coast until you get up there so then you just casually pull up to the light? 500 feet, turn left onto 6th Avenue West. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna turn on the blinker, no blinker. Not to say that a lot of cars don't turn the blinker on there. You should, of course, turn the blinker on there. Let's see if it sees the speed limit sign for the first time ever. It can see a 20 here, but it does not register the 20 on the screen for whatever reason. The map data overrides it, and that that's a clear problem. Like It registers it finally now here, but that's based on map data. Every time previously, it would always change the 20 right about this area. It just doesn't register, even though it shows a 20 on the screen, it doesn't register as 20 mile an hour. stay in this lane and not change lanes previous history would indicate the car is gonna want to change lanes here uh, either try again the right this lane over here which is definitely wrong or try and get in the left lane over here for some reason which is also wrong uh, but we'll see see I think this is another problem it doesn't know that there's cars in front of this car like I can see that like, I can, because my, I'm off to the left a little bit, I can easily see that there's a row of cars in front of this car right here. And honestly, it should be able to see the camera through the rear windshield and be able to tell there's a car right there. So that's probably why the car occasionally wants to go around, as if it thinks this car is broken down in the middle of the road. And it's like, well, let's just go around it, because it's it stopped there and there's no cars in front of it. But that So that might be the logic that's going on, which, of course, is faulty, because we know... There are... <sighs> exactly. What am I... Point proven. Um, it tries to go around. It's, it does... It seems to, like, initiate it once we start moving. Like, it's... It doesn't, like... I, yeah. Because this is a right-only turn lane. I know it says straight right here, but it just continues into a right-only turn lane. There's... That I don't know why those are marked wrong because it really it you have to get out back into this lane unless you want to go into the mall. As you can see right here, this is the right only turn lane, so there's no reason I should get in that lane without getting back into this one again, unless I'm just trying to pass someone on the right, which you're not supposed to do. So this truck definitely decided to pull into the road at the worst possible time. Okay. Gonna see how it merges here. We are wide open. I'm gonna mainly do it. It shouldn't wait this long. It doesn't swing into the highway, so we got that going for us. It definitely it kept the blinker on. So it still has that issue where it thinks we're still in the merge lane and it wants to get over the merge. So we're not actually in a merge lane. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, tell it to get over. It needs to accelerate quicker than this. It's trying. I think the problem it also it flew over my speed limit. The problem is it's trying to. You can see my. It's trying to fill the gap. And it's, uh, it needs to adjust how it passes cars and it lower the gap down temporarily to the pass and get back around and then raise the gap again. Now, it should get over. I'm going to make it get over. This is what the car should be doing. And again, we 
catching up to this car at a reasonable speed, so I should go ahead and change lanes. I, they've adjusted it again. I'm on the mild setting, so I'd rather just not change lanes that often. So maybe they've adjusted to be actually mild. So it would have to be several mile an hour under the speed limit before I would actually not change lanes. But so this is how I wish the car would respond. Don't get over it like that and get back over it. Super smooth. This was a good lane change here. appropriate as well because I'm actually going to slow down my speed here. The speed limit's 55 up ahead. I'll probably go of course a little bit more than that but um, we, there's usually it's quite often especially with construction. They all this construction on this section right here that we saw on the first video of this morning. This of course this video will be posted later in the week but um, You gotta, there's gotta be, there's probably police officers watching there now, so you're probably really gonna just wanna go to speed limit now. good even though the speed limit again goes up for some reason. Make sure it stays left. Now turn left on Tuoso Drive. No 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 okay. As you can see it still wanted to turn right. It like nav said left, it shows left. I I don't I don't understand why left to right is so I I, I mean obviously computer Intelligence is difficult. Okay. There's no one coming, so I tapped it like it was showing on the screen. That was a good acceleration. Of course, speed limit is wrong. Um, yeah, I don't understand uh, the why that's such a difficult problem. Uh, just from left to right, I'm like, left is that way, right is that way. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, obviously, it's probably a lot more complicated in the back end of things than what I'm trying to make it out to be. Uh, otherwise, everyone, that uh, was... Wow, I'm, my memory is terrible today. I think that was zero disengagements. Um, it almost had one. It was so close to having a disengagement there. Um, but it, it managed to correct itself um, with the lane change it tried to do when I was explaining that. But yeah, um, I'm pleasantly happy um, with 10.2. I, I think it, 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 we're back to where we should be um, as a baseline. And I'm expecting to be the two steps forward, one step back with every update going forward. Uh, I'm hoping to see that, just see improvements with each update. Eventually, there's not going to be many improvements left. So we're going to get there, and it's going to be awesome. Hope to see you in the next video, and I appreciate you all watching. Bye.